Hi loves, it's been a while, you know, since I last posted and I found it very interesting that I wanted to come on here and make this, this video wanting to clear up some shit um, and speak some messages because it seems like I'm seeing so much of everyone's opinions, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring per se. So everything that's going on with Hollywood, with Diddy, with the government, things like this, which got me when people were talking about the fall of, you know, Hollywood and shit, it is not falling. We're just seeing basically false gods fall from their seats, right? Which got me because I heard Destiny Keys, as in Destiny is switching its keys, it's basically, you know, packing up the energy is moving away so basically what it's talking about was destiny is going to start favoring and putting keys in the hands of access to individuals other than those who have routinely abused it or basically stretched the limits or basically let's just call it destiny swapped if you want to believe in such a thing i personally do not i think it's a load of bullshit but with Destiny Keys, it's talking about how individuals who had routine access to Destiny and whatnot to write and change everything that they chose to do in this lifetime, the energy is no longer available to them because it basically rekeyed the locks and, and shut them out. So therefore, they have no other way and no other where to go other than out. So now the keys are starting to change. It's basically a change in the wind. And I've been feeling this for a while. I've noticed that last year, I knew that Paris would be a hot spot, you know, especially with the Olympics. I heard something about kamikaze energy or kamikaze stones that are starting to come out now, thanks to Paris after they found them near the catacombs. Now, whatever energy is this hot spot, we are now noticing that it's starting to activate a nest portal during the Olympic Games that started creating this. So anybody who was at the Olympic Games in Paris, your energy has now fed that portal and it's now starting to migrate elsewhere. This is why so many celebrities have gone to Paris. It was not just because it was a hot spot. It was because it was a portal energy. They were harvesting this portal, this kamikaze energy to basically destiny, to key destiny. Now, with this being said, these kamikaze stones, there's four sets of stones of unique, almost like power stones, infinity stones, whatever you want to call it, metaphorically, spiritually, whatever it was meant to do. There was some type of ritual that was performed for these elitist individuals that freaking backfired. Now, whatever Destiny wanted to go with that, that's that's on Destiny, that's on their contracts, whatever. But I will say with all this shit going on, we have noticed that celebrities that have access to the wealth and basically this mismanagement of wealth and basically diversion of goods, as now we are starting to see that Destiny is starting to favor the collective as a whole, thanks to what happened with Pluto in... Aquarius going back into Capricorn. We are starting to see the fact that the grips of the old way of life is now shifting in a more collective, humane um, version. I also heard that with destiny favoring those in the winds of change, we are starting to realize that obviously, like I said, these portals were open. Hollywood's energy is now being fucking siphoned elsewhere. I've also noticed a lot more seismic activity in the ground. And this is why I've been feeling and taking time off because I have been trying to get involved with the earth elementals and the energy that's at play. I started working with the fairies and from then I started working with a few other entities that dragon specifically um, I noticed was really cracked open. So with karma basically invoked a lot more of this destiny right contract whatever you want to call it i've noticed that a lot of people are now starting their breachment period of their life which is basically another round of shadow work but this is 
very on the lighter side this is kind of finishing up what was not done or basically anything that was like you're tying up the loose ends so breech mint is basically like a wool coming up for air right after being in the depths for too long so now it's starting to basically gather the air that it needs to resupply its lungs you as a human being in this life right now in this human collective are starting to realize that when you come up for air you're realizing all the shit that you were doing before is not working out so now it's time for you to pick up and move you know and move on with your life so this is basically clearing up any loose ends um so this is like hang tight rescue is coming i've also am seeing right now that there is an avalanche like whether or not this is just like being packed in the avalanche and then you're waiting for rescue or something but there's something about an avalanche here so what i wanted to say and this is very interesting be very wary of the things that you are saying or the gifts that you are using right now because a lot of you are having gifts that you were using before and now they're, they're basically going to go dormant or they're going to shut off like a light switch i literally just saw someone exit a light and turn off the lights and they they left like it was the last time they will be in that room that's why the lights are like they're cut off so it's signifying that the winds have changed that is no longer in play that chapter is over so basically it's now it's packing up and moving on to a new location what is interesting is when i said hollywood's energy is being siphoned and put elsewhere into a portal basically elsewhere i have noticed working with elemental energies of the earth and feeling the seismic activity and whatnot i can feel it very minutely and i just know i will tell you i've noticed that the grid system is off the energetic grid lines that we are working with, they are off by at least 30 degrees. I don't know exactly the location as to why, but all of them go into what I call the nest. So the nest is basically the crystal caverns of the earth, basically the crystal heart of the earth, the very core. That is the nest, right? So the nest supports all of us. So think about how we have access to mycelium and how mycelium is basically everywhere on this planet underneath all of the foragery everything the mycelium connects us to the crust of this earth and this is why so much of us are putting more focus on eating cleaner or basically a cleaner environment it's starting that the nest is starting to activate people's old traditional information this is why which is interesting for those who are eating cleaner or going to a more vegetarian or basically homestead life that they're they're switching from i was living in the city now i'm living out in the country right i don't want neighbors i don't want to be told what to do i'm living off the grid this that energy it is encoding into plants that you were eating that now encode into you. So this is why it's important that I heard for a few individuals in particular that want to try this is look up like garden feng shui or medicinal plants. There's something about energy that's not meshing with other energy that is being encoded with these plants. It's basically, it's not yin yang. It's not a balance, it's too, yin here yang here and it's like here in the middle there's this plant that's that just doesn't want to go in between because it's the energy of its own right it's, it's un androgynous hermaphroditic there's this energy that just does not mesh well and it's constricting and this is why it's messing with your flow so for those who are practicing feng shui in your environment you need to redo your environment or recheck your intuition there's something about someone not realizing that there is an energy that's present around you that is not for you that is a very trickster energy now 
I've done this before and I'm going to say this for anybody who's interested. If you are looking for med medicinal like healing using plants or flowers, um, I did uh, clear quartz that was infused with flower elementals. It, what was it? Lotus for the crown, corn flower for the third eye, snapdragon for the throat. Snapdragon is a good talisman for anybody that needs it because it's also a flower that has been used in ancient times or even modern times to basically remove trickster energy. So call upon the snapdragon. So then we had roses for the heart. We had um, chrysanthemums for the solar plexus. I used orchid and dahlia that were combined together on a twin point uh, quartz, right? And that was for the sacral. And then for the root, I did hibiscus, but my opener was daisy. So basically daisy is good for opening up and introducing a very protective energy. It's very mothering and it's very nurturing. So it's a very calm energy. It's a very yin energy. And then I sealed all that energy once I was done working with my uh, chakras. I sealed it with marigold. Marigold is very good for remembering. It's also a very protective energy. It's also something that will help you connect with more elemental energy, but it also will help you connect to your ancestors. Now, if you want to work with that, that is entirely up to you. I've done it before and I wanted to put that out there, but if you're working specifically with Snapdragons, make sure you say that you need it um, to protect you from trickster energy. So working with Snapdragons, for anybody who is interested in it, please please work with snapdragons at your throat when i was doing that and i was intuitively channeling like flowers and whatnot that literally came out after i looked at my tattoo and it was like oh i need the throat there was something with my throat being blocked and that's when i heard snapdragons would be very good for you so i started googling what snapdragons did metaphysically and that's when i noticed i was like i need this so those who work with snap dragons, you can also call upon the dragon energy. Now, speaking of the eclipse energy that we just had with the year of the dragon and all this other shit that we just had in, what was it, Pisces, um, that started off the next round, there was so much shit that got released that you don't realize that will take about two, three years to fully grow out. So every eclipse that we have for the next two, three years will piggyback this energy. So the dragon energy coming back, they wanted you to basically say, and I am one with all sentient being. It is my sentient gift. I am one with all sentient being. I, it is my sentient gift. Or you can play around with that. Excuse me. You have this freaking ability right with this destiny coming in to write your own destiny for how you see forward a lot of you are not picturing you're seeing what's here you're not seeing what's everything else around you because you're too stuck in one room in your mental mindset this energy that we just had with the dragon energy and destiny keys that are going to fall into our lap as a human collective where now we will see how much mismanagement of our resources we will have now that we have the ability to start growing and having access to the things that the public and private elitists had. We now will have access with this, you know, destiny key falling into the human collective. We will start seeing that these old gods, these old way of thinking, even spirituality, religion, it's going to be upgraded you will start seeing how much of this ricochet effect and how much of this trickle down mismanagement of information, knowledge, things like that will become now aware and we will say no more. This energy is crazy because a lot of you are going to realize that with this energy and this eclipse and what's going on for the next, you know, two to three years for, let's just say the next 40, a lot of you will not realize how much your life is going to be either a devil in your own making or a fucking god in your own right, right? Because you were taking control and fully accessing your soul, your whatever you want to call it. 
you have to check your ego in that process or you will be one of them that falls. That's what I'm saying. So don't think for a moment you don't have full access. You are not at the mercy of life. So do not tell yourself, like, I can't do this because of X, Y, and Z. You're, you're a product of your environment. You're a product of your mind. So if you have a piss poor attitude, you will not get anywhere in life because your one room mentality is not going anywhere. So that is what I'm seeing. And I wanted to come on and make this video for you guys. If you are feeling this energy, um, I wanted to share this. It's It's been a really long time. And I noticed that once I stopped doing videos and I stopped doing tarot, I ended up freaking blocking my throat and my solar plexus. And I've been having a very hard time um, letting shit go. And it's kind of backed me up you know in my system wise and i wanted to do a lot more things and i just kind of felt like i was flowing with what everybody was saying or doing and it wasn't to the point where i was here and i needed to be over here and i didn't understand because i literally sat the fence and i struggled and i'm going to be completely honest with you I hope I never get back into tarot. Like, I picked up tarot cards and it's to the point where, like, my intuition, like, I know what the cards mean. It's just nothing flows, right? And that's when I realized, like, I needed the right choice of getting out of tarot because it's like, that's how this channel came out. And I noticed that every time I would do a collective reading for anybody that would put themselves in this reading, like, I would put myself in it. I was calling my own energy. And so it was like basically calling the kettle black, you know, it's just like, I'm biased to shit. And I don't like it, you know, and there was so much more to do. And I just want to say thank you to the people who've been reaching out to me through email, like Gmail hitting, you know, hitting me up, checking on me. I deeply appreciate you guys. I love you to death. You know, I just want to say for the last three years of you bringing me into your life and watching my content thank you so much because honestly without you i'm not here you know i mean i am here but my message is not being reached to the people that need to be reached you know so i definitely deeply appreciate all the time and the energy that you guys have watched and maybe resonated with we're not you know it is entirely up to you and your intuition and your soul alone. And I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And wherever you're watching this at any space, time, time continuum. Peace, love, and happiness. And I love you guys. But make sure you love you, okay? Make sure you guys set boundaries. This is the thing. We are not doing any more people pleasing. We are not doing any I'm overstepping or I'm overgiving. No, no, no. You're going to draw that line in the sand. Okay, we're, we're drawing lines in sands and we're pressing hard. We're standing on this. We're not playing sides anymore. We're going to figure this shit out and we're going to work. And anything else that does not fall in this, it's gone. We're, we're not doing this anymore. So the year of us stepping into full power and full control over our autonomous being and stop this harvest cycle so we never get harvested again as individuals as a collective as a human race as a sentient species standing on that we are going to ascend back to our rightful place because we've fallen too many fucking times and we're not about to be harvested for the billionth time our planet is done it deserves so much more. We deserve so much more. So with this being said, peace, love, and happiness. And I will see you when I decide to make more content. If, if I get any more messages that's worthy of sharing, I will deeply, you know, consider sharing with you. But I wanted to tell you this, to update you this. Because let's be honest, a lot of you have been feeling exactly what I've been feeling in some way, some form. Your intuition, your soul has been telling you. And I hope that it resonates with you. And if it doesn't, then hopefully in any continuum that you find yourself in the future watching this, that you understand why you came here. So with that being said, take care of yourself.